This is our retractal area. In the video, you can see one of our operators winding one of the cable products. The cable is wound around the mandrel based on the customer's requirements for extension length as well as diameter. The operator is using the lasers to measure the overall length of the helix as well as the tangent length. From this point in the process, the cable is baked and dewound to increase the snap and the retractal action of the cable. So it's now ready to be coiled. This worker gets the process started by manually winding it around a rod. Then he presses a button and the automated winder does the rest. This establishes the spiraling profile of the retractile cord. But at this point, the coil won't hold. Simply pulling out the rod would cause it to unravel. The plastic sheathing around the wires has no memory, so it won't retain the shape. They wheel the cords, still on the rods, into an industrial oven and bake them at approximately 90 degrees Celsius. This gives the cords plastic casing the necessary memory so that when the operator pulls out the rod, the coil is intact. But it still doesn't have the necessary snap. That is now achieved by reversing the direction of the coil. The equipment used for that is proprietary, so this worker demonstrates the basic concept with a drill. The drill turns the cord counterclockwise for an impressive rewind. The effect ripples all the way down to the end. Reversing the direction of the coil transforms it. The process tightens the spirals so that after the cord is stretched, it retracts to its original shape. The difference is very apparent. The top coil in this shot hasn't been reversed, while the bottom one has, and it's clearly much tighter. The measuring process guarantees high quality output at all times. On request, these retractile cords are now ready to be stretched to the max and snap right back again.